Hi guys, Brain the Squirrel Lion back with another video and today we're going to be going over what happened at the YouTube boxing event. At first I wasn't too excited about watching this really because I'd saw the press, press conferences and everything before and, and it did just look like a massive joke. But after watching it, yeah, I w I'm more than happy to have paid for it because it turned into a really, really good event. Let's go over what actually happened at the boxing event. The first match that we had was Drizzy Jeremy against Call Me Ham. Not really too much happened in this. It ended in a decision with Call Me Ham taking the victory. Yeah, it did look clear that Call Me Ham was getting the victory on this, but it wasn't really exciting the match. Then we moved on to Momo versus Rossi HD. Again, another match that didn't really pique my interest. Not much really went down in this either. It was just a lot of back and forth. Apparently, from what was said, Momo hadn't really trained or anything. Momo came away with a victory on this, but I don't really have much to say on it because again, it wasn't really an interesting match. Now we move on to JMX versus Coach Richard, and this was the first match of the night that I actually felt invested in. You could tell throughout the match that Coach Richard really wasn't expecting what he got from JMX. JMX really did put in an amazing effort on this and it did look really good. The one worry that I had going into this was uh, the shoulder of JMX. I figured that might have like held him back a lot. But the truth is he even did try swinging with the arm of his injured shoulder. So yeah, everything, everything just worked brilliantly with JMX in this match. Coach Richard did look like he was trying to keep himself in it, but it was no use. Uh, JMX just had him. So yeah, JMX walked away with a victory and yeah, he, he looked great in this match. Then we had Face Sensei against Overflow. Now, I, I expected this to be a really good match and it didn't disappoint. Uh, the fact that both of them uh, come from MMA backgrounds and everything, yeah. Both men in this match did put on some really great offense. Through, through watching the match, you could tell that Fei Sensei was walking away with a victory here. Both of them just looked immense. Uh, and then after the match, after Fei Sensei won, he did say that he would love to face Overflow in an MMA match which would be brilliant to see like I, I would absolutely love to see overt floor versus face sensei in an actual mixed martial arts match so come on let's get an octagon down there and you know let's see him kick off one of the most interesting facts about this match is that face sensei actually called it he said that it would end round three with liver punches in a tko and that's exactly how it happened uh, just outstanding from Face Sensei. Now we move on to Raka Raka versus Skirts. Again, this this match really did not disappoint. I felt like it could have been very slow paced. This one, I don't know why. I just felt like it was going to be very slow paced going in. But no, Michael straight out the bat just throwing punches and he went straight in. This match was in entertaining from start to end. Raka Raka walking away with a victory after uh, the ref had to call it. But yeah, you can take nothing away from Skurse here. Skurse can take a punch. Skurse can take a beating and keep going. So yeah, fair play to Skurse. The victory, you could see on Michael's face how much it actually meant to him. Because yeah, it, it will have been one hell of a year because considering Considering the type of content they make, you can you can just see that it gets demonetized a lot and everything, which is a massive shame because Raka Raka makes some amazing content, and like Michael said, like on the interview, he did say that we make content that's unlike anyone else's. That we make content that no one else does, and yet it's true. There is no one else like them. So it is a shame to hear about that, but this must be a major pickup for Michael and well both both of the Raka Raka boys because well it's his twin brother, he's gonna be overly ecstatic for him, isn't it? Next we have what in my opinion was the fight of the night, and this was Anison Gibb against Jay Swingler. Both men in this match, some great offense. Massive thing with Jay is every time it looked like he should have been taken out. No, he, he put on an amazing comeback. 
This match, it blew my mind to be fair. I did expect it all to be one sided down uh, Anderson Gibbs way. I expected Jay to be able to take a punch, but I didn't see him getting into the match much. But yeah, the way both men just kept going at each other was outstanding and the respect they showed for each other, absolutely amazing. Anderson Gibb did walk away with a victory, but yeah, don't take anything away from Jay Swingler. He was fantastic in this. And after the match, uh, <laughs> Anderson Gibb turns to Joe, Joe Weller and goes, what are you saying, you little bitch? And then offers him for a fight for next year. And Joe Weller accepts, so we're going to be seeing Anderson Gibb against Joe Weller next year, which I, I do think it could be a really good match. Um, Joe Weller's first match really wasn't anything to, to talk about like Joe really didn't do anything in that match but yeah this next match hopefully Joe will do a lot better and we'll get to see a great bout between both of them. Now we have Jake Paul against Deji. Now this match I kind of felt like it was all just gonna be Jake Paul. I felt like Deji was gonna go in just be overly cocky and just try to swing wildly but the truth is, Deji did show some composure. Now, Deji did actually look like he could have even won this. So, yeah, it was a big surprise to see that. Uh, but we did have Jake Paul walking away with a victory. Both men did show that they had put a lot of work into this and a lot of training, which was brilliant to see. Uh, it did make me gain some respect for Jake Paul. I'm not even going to lie. But that respect kind of dipped as soon as Jake Paul went on to his interview where he went yeah I'm dropping new merch it was like come on man you've just had an amazing fight why do we need to be dropping merch all of a sudden it ended like we knew it would with the rivalry with Deji and Jake shaking hands and being all like buddy buddy and that we knew that's how it was gonna go because I think we all know by this point that the beef really isn't real <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with the beef being fake because of the fact that it's entertainment, that's what it is. It's all about the entertainment. Then we move on to the final match of the night. This was uh, Logan Paul against KSI. This match, again, it got more out of me than I expected it to, really. At the beginning, it did just look like it was all going to be down Logan Paul's side. Like, Logan Paul was just going to completely obliterate KSI. But the truth is, KSI, in the third round, mounted a comeback, and it started looking great. And the match turned around from there, and it did look like it was going to be an intense match for the rest of it. Which it was, to be honest. I mean, we got to the fifth round and we couldn't determine who had actually won that round. Both men looked amazing during uh, round five. The big downside to it is that it ended in a draw. I mean, I know it sets up for LA next year. But the fact of the matter is, after seeing a match as good as it was, because it was actually really good. So seeing a match as good as it was for it to end in a draw was really disappointing and anticlimactic. We just wanted to see a winner come out of this. Both men got their interviews afterwards where like, obviously KSI said about, oh yeah, well we can set it up for next year. The fans want to see a rematch, all that lot. So yeah, obviously we've got that going forward. One of the big things that I did like was uh, during Logan's interview, he did thank JJ uh, because with everything that went on with Logan beforehand, it did look like Logan was just going on a downward spiral where he was just going to go, like if he just kept going the way he was. So for JJ to give him that, it was something good for Logan. All in all, uh, it was worth the like seven pound fifty that I paid for it. Some stupid moments, like again with the guy with the football. That part, I still don't get. I didn't get it last year. I don't get it this year. Please, just stop with the stupidness. If next year's event is as good as this year's event, I will be really happy because this year's event really did surprise me. Good on all the lads who participated. Um, it really did show that you, you don't have to just limit yourself. I mean, these guys are YouTubers and they were putting on some great action in boxing. So... Yeah, you really got to respect them for that. 
But yeah, I hope you guys did like this video. And if you did like it, give it a like. If you watched the fight, comment down below who you think was the best fighter of the night. For me, I've got to give it to Face Sensei. The guy did look awesome. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you can always stay up to date on my content. And yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one.